So in this particular case, we should be given 10 different ballot papers. A battle of the legal titans today in Suda, the Supreme Court, as the BBI appeal hearing entered day two. The apex court largely heard from the BBA opponents as their counsel dispatched their best legal weapons targeted at bringing down the Constitution Amendment Bill. The counsel representing David D and other respondents rebutted the arguments presented by Attorney General that the president was immune to civil proceedings, stating that indeed the head of state can be prosecuted after his term comes to an end. If any blame should go anywhere, it should go to the appointing authorities. Isaac Luchier, a respondent in the case, tackled the BBI, submitting that the president offended the constitution by opting for a popular initiative route to change the law, a preserve for the common monainchi and not state officers. Who is boss in Kenya? Is it Martha Kome, the president of the Supreme Court of Kenya? Is it Uru Kenyatta, the president of the Republic of Kenya? Is it David D, the champion of the basic structure doctrine, as represented by President Nelson, Nelson Harvey? Or is it us, the people? In this constitution of ours, we, the people, are the sovereigns. We are boss. However, counsel from both divides face difficulties explaining the context of the basic structure doctrine in the constitution when judges took them to task. The drafters of the constitution identified what was so precious that parliament should not be left to mess around with it on its own. What is the basic structure in our submission is that which can only be altered. The lawyers opposing the BBI also argue that the electoral body IBC was improperly constituted when it verified BBI's one million signatures, saying the quorum required more than half of the commissioners to be present. Even if we were to say that the commission has three commissioners and is properly composed as according to the constitution, what happens where a unanimous decision cannot be reached by the commission? On the referendum questions, councils acting for BBI opposers submitted that a referendum can only contain a single bill with a single question, and therefore BBI ought to have contained multiple questions as it contained many issues, 83 to be specific. Counsel from both sides have until tomorrow to argue their case in the last battle to salvage the BBI bill. Have a very nice evening. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.